Held hit by a train in Fayette County. Investigators say the train clipped his bike and threw him to the ground. Tonight, he's in the hospital with a head injury. Doctors are trying to figure out just how severe it is. David Highfield joins us live with more on what happened. David. Ken and Christine, yeah, this boy has a possible head injury, also a possible leg injury. However, I am told that he was talking and alert when paramedics showed up at the scene. He was flown here to Children's Hospital. A family friend tells me that the boy is 11 years old and his name is Kevin Nicholson. Trains come through Dawson, Fayette County about every 15 minutes. It's something people here don't think about until something happens, like what happened this morning. He was riding his bicycle up here by the store, and he got hit. Like, I guess the back of the bicycle got hit by the train. The boy's bicycle remained on the ground even after paramedics rushed him away. State police blocked off the intersection as CSX started its investigation. A CSX spokesperson tells me she doesn't know whether the train conductor saw the little boy and even had a chance to begin the process of slowing down the train. The railroad released a statement that says in part, CSX personnel are working on site with local law enforcement as they investigate and our thoughts are with everyone impacted by this tragic accident. The speed limit for trains coming through the Laughlin Street crossing is 30 miles an hour. There is no gate. I just can't stop crying. I just feel really bad. A lady who doesn't want to be identified but works at the corner store tells me she warns kids to be careful near the track. So I was very upset. Uh, I see these kids every day just about when I'm working. And I said every day I would tell them, be careful out there. And they're in another world. They're not really paying attention. Now, state police are actually not conducting the investigation in this. They tell me that is something that CSX Railroad Police are doing. Now, the boy, again, was flown here to Children's Hospital, but we do not have word on his condition at this hour. We're live tonight outside Children's Hospital. David Highfield, KDKA-TV News.